Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we'll be looking at ribs and planes and how to do them. Um, as you can see, draw your attention here to the left side. Um, this is what we'll be drawing today. As you can see, there's one rib here supporting the bracket to this round section here. Um, so we'll be drawing this. The value is given A, it's 8 millimeters, B, it's 80, and C is also 80. So those are the values given. Um, so just to start off, basically remember it's just a normal part that you're still creating. I just viewed my planes here. So what we can do is we can actually go and look at this section here that says right plane. So we want to start drawing here and there's the origin. So we can draw on the right plane. So we're going to say sketch on the yeah, on the sketch on the different plane. So let's just exit sketch mode quickly. Sketch on the right plane. Okay. There we go. So now you can see that this is a block and origin sits here. So I'm just going to create a small little square. It starts like that. And I'm going to extrude this back. So I'm going to say add the dimension. So I know this block, the width of this block should be, that width should be given to be a certain length. It should be the radius on top. So it should be that radius, which is 50. So then you know it's 50, okay? And then the height of this block, which is given here, it's 12.5. 12.5, okay, there we go. So now we're gonna extrude this one, features, extrude. So we're just gonna flip the direction here. We're going to shoot it back how much as you can see on the sketch it will be from there to there so it would be distance c so distance c like i've told you it's 80. so i'm just going to say 80 i'm going to say yes okay so now that we have this i'm going to insert that section here on that section there and then i'll insert the round section okay so i'm going to start drawing at the back because the origin sits here so otherwise if i start drawing here i'm extruding it that way would we will have certain offsets from certain planes which will get a bit difficult so let's just right click on it say normal too then we're going to draw in another sketch we're going to draw in i want to sketch on that another block so as you can see this i'm going to draw in this block this block is from that center to the center here where it touches there it's also 80. So it's going to be 80 by 50 just to give you an idea okay so from there to there should be 80 minus 12.5. Why? Because that's 80 and that's 12.5. And I'm saying enter 67.5. And then that's it. And then you look, it still says under the fine set, so this wants to know where it sits. As you can see, it has no idea where it sits to the side. So let's just give it a, a width, which is 50. And now it says fully defined. Okay. So now we're going to features, we're going to say extrude, we're going to flip the direction, remember now, this one is, what's the thickness just for that one? That thickness there, it's also 12.5 as you can see, so 12.5, there we go, and we say yes. So far, that's our extrusion, now I'm going to insert this circle here, this double layer circle. So as you can see, it's 50 and the inner one's 25, the diameter. So again, I'm going to draw from this side, or I'm actually going to start drawing from this side so I'm going to say sketch I'm going to insert my circle uh, you can just drag and drop it anywhere remember it will still change uh, let's just say delete for now just wanted to put, place it somewhere there in the center yeah something like that and then we have an inner circle as well I'm going to add some dimensions this outer one remember I said it should be what 50 okay and then the inner one should be what should be 50 25 okay so there we go so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually extrude this one as well so we're going to say features extrude at boss base so the first direction remember this you can extrude two directions so the first direction what we can extrude is how far does this thing go forward as you can see it goes 42.5 so 42.5 so now what you can do is you can click on the second direction and now it wants a certain distance. Luckily, it's selected 12.5 already. Okay. 
If it didn't, you just put 12.5 and it just say yes. And there you go. There's your component so far. Okay. So as you can see, there's a little problem here at the back, a little section here. So what you can do is you can always just go and fill that one. You can fill it. You can just say, yeah, sketch. Very easy. You're going to sketch, let's say, a three-point arc looks like it from there to there to that distance. You're going to close it here at the bottom from there to there. You're going to add dimensions. You're going to say it should be 12.5. It says fully defined features extruded boss. And then you can just flip the direction again. Remember, it's only 12.5 that distance to where it stops. Okay. And you just say yes. And there you go. Okay, as you can see, everything's fine now in my drawing. So when I view it 3D, it should sit like this one. And the origin should be there. Okay, but now there's some material that's moved there, so we can just obviously remove some material. So basically, this is just a chamfer. So these two edges are just chamfered. So you can just go drop down next to fillet. You say chamfer. You click on that edge. You click on that edge. You make sure the distance here it's 10, as you can see it's 10, so it means outside it's 10, it's 45 degrees, and you just say yes, and there you go. And then the origin sits exactly where it sits on the picture. So now, to actually start with the rip and plane section. So basically to start off, what we can do is, th there's a right way of doing it and there's a wrong way of doing it. Okay, so you can actually this rip, you can just normal extrude it. Um, normal cut and extrude but the right way to do it is to actually click on the rip function here by features okay so I'm gonna show you how to use the rip function but before we use the rip function we need a certain plane we need a plane here in the middle using a rip function otherwise it's gonna start try doing a rip either this side on this edge or here in the front okay so to insert a plane you're just gonna go to reference geometry click the drop down arrow say plane Okay, then it's going to give you first reference, second reference, third reference, just to give you an idea. First reference, let's say select, whichever is the first reference you select, it's going to make a copy of that. Then you can maybe say flip offset if you want it the other way. You can say you want 50 of them, just to give you an idea. Okay, so that's how to insert a plane. You can add a different distance maybe. For instance, from there to there is how much? It's 50 according to this drawing. So it should be 25 this distance to be exactly in the center. Can you see? Okay, so obviously you can insert perpendicular ones, different degree angle ones. So just to give it a, let's say you selected another plane, second reference. Let's say we selected a top plane. Okay, it's not going to do that. Let's, let's just, let, let's say we selected a front plane. Okay, let's say mid plane. And then we select the top plane. And then, so let's say you selected the top plane and the front plane, you selected mid plane for each. Okay it gives you it, it makes them at the it, it makes the plane go at 45 degree angle so you can also also flip the direction whichever you want or flip it the other way so there is ways of doing this okay so let's just go back to normal distance just flip the direction there we go and then we just say yes and then we insert the plane okay you can obviously rename it by right clicking on it or rename it here on the family tree okay so now that you have inserted your plane you can go to rip feature click on rip now it says select the plane we're going to select that metal plane we just made now it automatically sends you into a sketch mode okay so what you can do is you can just say normal to normal to and then you can actually sketch this rip so this rip it's 10 from there and it touches there so make sure that your rip is fully defined otherwise you're going to have problems when you start doing your rip feature okay so we can add a dimension from there to there it should be 10 yes can you see it's black so it means fully defined so now what we do is you're going to just say exit sketch mode you're just going to click it and then it's going to prompt the rip here on your left side where your family tree usually is okay now to just give you an idea is if you look at this look at the arrow which way it's going okay so you can flip the direction so it's now it's going to rip this way. If you flip the direction, it rips parallel to the sketch. Okay. So we want it parallel to the sketch. The other thing we want to do is we want to flip the material side. So the arrow is facing down because we want the rip down. We don't want it out. Okay. 
and then you can add maybe you just want it the one side or you want it both sides or you want or sorry you want it both sides or you want it one side each okay and then what's the thickness of that rib if you look on the sketch i remember it was eight that i said it was so you just say eight and you say yes and there's your rib function as you can see okay and that's how it's easiest to rip. Now obviously you can just make a normal cut and extrude by inserting a plane. You can just say draw this triangle, close the contours, and then just say extrude eight mils mid plane. So there is different ways of doing this. So thank you for watching this video. Um, please leave a comment or a like um, and also say maybe if there's something else that you want to see.